day, five days a week, at approximately $1.56 an hour, well below your $10 minimum wage, at Liberal MP Ruby oh. Dalla's home. While you have personally trumpeted two bills in this chamber that would protect nannies and temporary workers, it would appear you've been silent for two weeks after you were made aware of these reported abuses of your own Ontario legislation. What kind of minister sits by when workers are accusing his own friend of breaking the very labour laws he's brought forward? Minister, have you initiated an independent inquiry into Minister uh, Ms. Dallas? Uh, complaints. Thank you. Minister. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I thank uh, the member for the question. The member is the member is uh, quite right, Mr. Speaker, that we have been out consulting in communities, meeting with nannies, listen, listening to uh, listening to their concerns. She opposes the, it. Many groups, stakeholders. Advocates, family, friends, supporters, Mr. Speaker, and we've heard many stories, many stories that have sat in me, Mr. Speaker, and in the, in all of those roundtables, those discussions that we have been having, what we have done is we we have moved forward as a government. We have set up a 1-800 hotline to receive calls. That we have a dedicated team to address all of those concern, all of those concerns, Mr. Speaker. We have a dedicated team, and at all of those meetings, we've also distributed employment standards fact sheet information. Thank you. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, when this minister was confronted with a complaint, he did nothing about it. On the one hand, this minister puts forward legislation to protect nannies and temporary workers, while on the other hand, does nothing when his Liberal friend, Ruby Dalla, is the target of a Toronto Star investigation which suggests she acted in contradiction of his own laws. It's been reported that you attended a meeting two weeks ago where these foreign workers cried out for help when they say Ruby Dalla withheld their passports. Yet not only did the Federal Minister of Immigration say today in the Star, your own staff acknowledged you did not pick up the phone and call the Federal Minister of Immigration. Not only did you fail in your job as Minister, you failed in your job as John Q. Public. I don't know how. You couldn't pick up the phone and tell the proper federal authorities of this breach. Will you step aside until is there, there is an independent investigation into the Dell affair and your own mishandling? Mr. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. The member is completely wrong, Dead Mr. Wrong. Speaker. Dead wrong. I have been meeting over many months, actually, with many of these caregivers, Mr. Speaker, and I did pick up the phone and I did call Minister Kenny, Mr. Speaker. I explained to him that many of the stories that we were hearing from these caregivers, they were telling us about a completely broken, flawed program that they have federally. I encourage Minister Kenny to take some leadership to fix that program because that's what we're doing here in this province, Mr. Speaker. We have set up a dedicated team to help with those that feel that they've been, uh, they've been discriminated against, that feel that there's been a contravention of the employment standards. And that team is there to assist any of those live-in caregivers, those nannies, with any claims that they may have, Mr. Speaker. We have heard these stories. Thank you. Final supplementary. Well, as Ruby Dalla's mentor and his federal leader once said, you didn't get it done. You didn't get it done. What kind of Labour minister stands by and does nothing while it's reported that their friend abused the very Labour laws he's responsible for? How can this Liberal government explain this failure to the Ontario public? You could have called the Immigration Minister. You chose not to. You could have told your own ministry officials. You chose not to. Minister, you don't get to pick and choose who abides and who breaks your laws. They either do or they don't. You have no credibility on this file. You failed as John Q. Citizen, and you failed as Labour Minister. Now that this issue is a national, and I repeat, national embarrassment, will you step aside and ensure your government calls an independent investigation into Ruby Dalla? Mr. Speaker, that member and her party have voted against every piece of legislation that we have brought to this House to help vulnerable workers. Just the other day, that member and her party stood up against 
helping temporary helping workers that are that's a shame I think you Minister. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, that member and her party voted against helping vulnerable shame. workers that work for temporary help agencies. That is a shame, I say to that member. And I have picked up the phone. I have spoken to Minister Kenny. It is unfortunate that, they, that the federal government has not taken leadership on this very important matter, Mr. Speaker. There is a completely broken live-in caregiver program in Canada that needs to be fixed. I would hope that Minister Kenny would take some leadership and fix that broken program, because I've told Mr. Kenny. Thank you. New question. Leader of Her Majesty's loyal opposition. Speaker, uh, Speaker, that disgusting response just uh, endorsed the need.